Hey YouTube, uh, this is Shadow again with another YouTube video. Um, here I'm just, this is my, I guess, new series. I'm going to call this Tech Hauls or something. Um, so this is like a, a little update of, I guess, technology or gaming related pick, pickups I've recently done. So I've recently just bought a 2.0 PlayStation Vita with a couple games. Um, here from GameStop, I bought a PS Vita Slim refurb for one fifty nine from GameStop. So more or less, it's in pretty good condition. Um, don't mind the fingerprints; that's just me. I did put a screen protector on top. I was in the middle of playing uh, X Plays Code Embryo. And I do have the game in here, yeah. But on the back, the touchscreen's a little bit bashed up. So just in case something to know, like if you go to buy a GameStop refurb Vita, it's not going to necessarily look look new. It's going to operate like it's new, but it's not going to necessarily look like it's new. Um, same thing for PS4 systems. Um, my PS4 is a refurbed v, um, PS4 system, and it had scratches on on the glossy part of the uh, old PS4. So just really look quick at the box. This is what I got from GameStop. So you got a whole breakdown here of the games. And I just forgot I left something out, but it's all right. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video. Um, so yeah, here we have the system and some earbuds, clean cloth, screen protector that's included. pretty good so oh i think it was a good buy i think it was a time for me to get back on vita um some of you may know i had a playstation vita before um right let's see in between when i had my original th 3ds but after but before i got my 2ds so i had a vita in between i had the oled one and it started to go wonky on me on me a little bit because i think i had some charging problems with it overnight that's for one and then two like um I didn't like the screen look like, I don't know if, if something was happening with the pixels, but in general, like I didn't really want that one because I had problems with the charger and I, I didn't like having to buy a proprietary charger for my Vita in order to play it, um, to charge at night. And I like that this uses a micro, um, is that micro B charging point or whatever it is. So. Here's just a look at some of my games. I might do a separate video, video like my PlayStation Vita collection and, you know, different things. But I have a huge, huge library of games. I have more stuff on here that I even have. But I do have a 64 gig memory card. I bought this on Amazon for about $106 or something. It had to be imported. It was like a stress like to get this here. Um, from where it came from, I think it's from China actually, but wherever it came from it was like a stress to get here because it arrived on a weekend and then they didn't deliver on the weekend Then I had to wait like two three extra days and I had to call Amazon. It was just a mess But to have a 64 gig when the last time I had a Vita I had a 32 gig and so I can have twice the space now I think I can store about 57 gigs worth of stuff on here is really good so I can have a lot of big AAA full games here PS1 classics PSP games and Vita games complete on here so I'm pretty happy with that then I went to GameStop and I picked up these games I talked about X Blaze Code Embryo it's okay it's pretty much a uh, what you call a visual novel so it basically tells you a little bit of a story um, of what happens, I believe, 150 years before Blaze Blue. I don't, I'm not sure which one, though. Either Continuum Shift or Calamity Trigger, I guess, would be the first one. So I guess at, before Blaze Blue even Blaze Blue arc ever starts, is a storyline of what happens. Um, so it's interesting so far. You, you play as this boy and who thinks he's responsible for an accident happening, and he meets this... Um, Sort of like cyber android who's like protecting him, and there's a lot of different things going on. 
So it's okay so far, and it's an easy platinum if you're interested in that. Tales of Hearts. Um, well, actually, I'll just talk about Blaze Blue Corona Phantasmic Send since it's related. And yeah, I had Blaze Blue for. I've had several of the Blaze Blue games. I've had Continuum Shift for Vita. And then I've had this one, but I didn't have the Extend version when I originally had my Vita. So when I bought this game back, I was like, I'm absolutely getting the Extend version. Because it has, like, I think an extra character and extra DLC and more, just more features in, in general. So, yeah, when it comes to Blaze Blue games, just, like, wait for the Extend version, <laughs> if, if possible. And I think for $13 for a physical Vita game that might be rare going forward, I think it's um, worth getting. And then Tales of Hearts R, um, I think it's pretty good so far. Um, played a little bit, but not much. It, it's like any other Tales game. So if you've played any of the series like me, I've played Zillia and what is it now, Vesperia. Um, I would recommend this. Or if you're looking for RPG for Vita, which Vita is amazing for JRPGs, buy this. And I got it on clearance brand new. It was the last copy in the store, so that's why it's sealed like this on the side. And it was $21.97. So I think that's worth it. And before I wrap it up, I got a new tablet that I'm going to use for comic books. In general, just a small e-reader. But this is the HP Slate 7. This is a kind of an old tablet. I think a 2013-2014 tablet. Slate 7 Plus, NVIDIA Tegra chip, I think 8 gig model, and um, yeah, pr pretty much got this, I think refurbed as well, this is from Micro Center, so I haven't really used it yet, as you can see I have Comic Cat installed here, and I have some comic books and stuff in there, and this is pretty much just for me to read, like, on the train or the bus or something. Something I can do when I'm not really interested in play, playing games. And, you know, sometimes I need to give my hands a break because, you know, gaming is really serious and you can hurt. You can, you know, really develop problems if you're gaming 24-7. So, I like reading and um, catching up and stuff. I can always check emails and web browse on this. So, I think it was pretty good. It was worth it. If I could find the box. And here it is. So this is how it looks when you buy something in Micro Center and they give you all the features of the tablet, the Slate 7 and has Wi-Fi and it's Android, I think 4.2 OS, Bluetooth, micro USB, SD card. I already have a 32 gig card inside my tablet. And here are some of the specs of the tablet here. Seven inch screen, 1280 by 800 display, eight gig drive, one gig of RAM and front and rear facing cameras that I think are low resolution. I think they're around, I think five or three or five, I think megapixels. I don't think they're that great, if I remember right. So not bad, I got it for 40 and then I had another tablet. So I had a gift card, so I traded that in actually. So this tablet actually really only cost me $25. So I think it was worth it. So that's pretty much my update and just recap on everything that's going on so far with me. I have some more stuff to unbox and unveil on my channel. So the only way you're going to find out is if you like, comment, subscribe, keep following me on the my videos and updates. And, um, you know, drop a comment below and, and, you know, stay tuned. So again, this is uh, Shadow signing out with this video and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.